Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the highest DPS builds in New World, without including the Great Sword, which we haven't really done as much tests for yet. The Great Axe and the Hatchet is something people are using in every single speedrun dungeon. The highest DPS is going to be Berserk, Raging Torrent, of course, with the Rending Throw. It's going to be a very, very high DPS build. You can also go the Utility DPS, which is great for nature mutations, and if you guys want to be going for a Tank Hatchet build, you can do that as well. If you guys at any point in this video need to pause the video, make sure to do so so you can get the exact abilities and everything that you need information wise. We also have all the information posted on pvebuilds.xyz, link in the description. You can also see here, Great Axe, the build is going to be very, very similar. But with the second build around, you're going to take Execute because the Execute is going to be very, very vital in Lazarus Expeditions as it's going to provide you a lot of extra damage to the final Lazarus boss. So when it comes to the first weapon perk, it's going to be Angry Earth Bane. It does depend on what expedition you're doing, of course. So here we're doing a corrupted dungeon called the Tempest Heart. For this specific dungeon, you're going to want a Hatchet or a Great Axe to both have the Corrupted Bane. And that's exactly what's going to be the most important. After that, when it comes to the hatchet, you're going to want Vicious or Rogue. These are both great perks to have on your hatchet as they provide so much extra damage. I personally take Vicious just for that consistent damage. We also have Refreshing Torrent, which is the biggest reason as to why the hatchet does so, so much damage compared to every other weapon when we talk about PvE. So make sure to have that perk, not only on your weapon, but we'll talk here soon about how you want it on all of your gear as well. Insatiable Gravwell is next. This is going to give you 52% of your damage back as health. Also, giving you an extra grab well is huge. We have Enfeebling Maelstrom. Targets hit by Maelstrom's no reprieve are weakened, reducing their attack damage by 25% for 8 seconds. A huge perk to have on your gear as well. So we're also going to go Empowering Rending Throw, because ranged hatchet attacks actually deal 31% more damage versus Rending Throw targets, which is going to provide you a ton of extra damage when you are using that Rending Throw. If we take a look at the next perk, it's going to be called the Keen Berserk. This increases your crit chance by 27% while under 50% HP while berserking. And because we're going a 5 con build, if you are looking for this very, very fast kills, you're going to be going low constitution builds and that Keen Berserk is going to be up constantly. We also have Crippling Reap, which if a target is hit with Reap and is below 50% health, they are slowed, reducing movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. Crippling Reap nice to go as well as if you are going for that Lazarus instrumentality build with execute you're going to want to gain 49 percent damage dealt back as health with execute in that final Lazarus instrumentality boss so now that we covered all of the different perks that you want to go with your hatchet and your great axe i want to talk about some of the different gems you're going to want to take obviously when it comes to the hatchet and the great axe so First up, we have Ancients. When you're going for Ancients, Hatchet is best in slot, really. And the best thing you're going to want to take on the Hatchet, gem-wise, is the Topaz. It's going to help out your damage, of course. Great Axe, you're going to want the Topaz as well. When we go to Angry Earth, the Hatchet, you're going to want the Opal or the Diamond. And then for the Great Axe, you're going to want the Opal as well. When it comes to Corrupted, you're going to want to take Sapphire on both your Hatchet and your Great Axe. When it comes down to the Lost, Hatchet and Great Axe is going to be consistently the highest DPS and utility. And for that reason, you're using it quite a bit here, and you're going to want to take the Amber on both your Hatchet and Great Axe. So I want to talk a little bit about the build before we get too much into the attributes as well. Hatchet is your main source of damage, of course, so when running this build, try and save your Raging Torrent to use after clumping up mobs together with the Great Axe. If you have the Refreshing Torrent Armor perk, which you definitely should, it's possible to insta-reset if you have enough mobs hit with all hits. So now let's jump a little bit into the attributes because we've seen a lot of people talk about these five constitution builds, which are definitely the way to go if you're not dying, which I know a fair amount of you guys are dying. So I asked the guy himself, the guy that's running all these speed runs and a very big part of the PVE community, I asked him, how are you not dying so often with the five con builds? Because I get this comment all the time in my YouTube videos when talking about these PVE builds and kind of going over some of the builds that you guys laid out. He said, I mean, honestly, we die sometimes. Although we have runs where the whole team does wipe, you just got to learn from it. 5 con isn't too hard because we stack up 5 times ward, plus the 8 times mutation specific gems, plus 20% or more fortify. If you walk into an M10 and take 10k per hit, 50% split from a mob, we would take about 3.65k hit at most, as low as 650 with maximum buffs applied, and 50% fortify with infused ward potions. 
If you take 10K from a boss, which is basically 100% physical damage, we would actually take 5.5K. There aren't many things that hit that much, so the majority of the time you aren't one-shottable, and if you don't get one-shot, then the odds are you have a healer that's good enough to out-heal any mob damage. So I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. Like I said, the Hatchet Great Axe is definitely one of the strongest out there. All speedrunners typically have this on their team, at least one Great Axe, and majority of them actually run a Hatchet for that DPS. So if you guys are looking for more PvE builds, more PvP guides, you're in the right place. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this video so you guys can see how they're running these very, very efficiently. The fools shall know their true purpose. That she would feast upon their souls. Sing my death. Forsaken. 